Hi. So I just wanted to pop on really quick and let you know that my schedule is changing a bit. I think. I don't know. <laughs> so for that reason, I'm, I'm going to close my books for personal readings for the time being. Um, obviously the people who already have a uh, reading scheduled, nothing changes for you. We will, we will do those readings on those dates and times, but, um, I'm just not going to take any new bookings at least for right now. So obviously I will let you know if that changes. Um, we're talking about May shouts out to you, May babies, um, Taurus and Gemini. I'm a cusper. My birthday is on the 20th. <laughs> So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the reading. We're going to be using um, the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. And then um, we're using this tarot deck. <laughs> I need to find the name of it. It doesn't come with a book, which is really annoying to me, but... Um, I'll figure it out. I'll Google it because I have no clue. I got it a couple years ago. So without further ado, um, and obviously because of my schedule, the videos are going to come out probably a bit more sporadically. Um, just an FYI on that too, if you care. But yeah, let's get into it. Hello again. <laughs> so first, let's see who's next. <clears throat> Leo getting the L's out of the way. L words, not, you know, you know. <laughs> I'm like, that sounded weird. You're all W's. Um, but the reason why I'm saying that is because Libra was first. So I was telling Libra that I'm not sure if I'm going to keep using that bowl to like pick the order. <laughs> For a while, it felt good to do that. And now it's like, eh. And maybe you've heard me say before that I go where the energy takes me as long as it feels good. So, you know, if it changes, we change with it. But we'll see. So let's get you an Oracle card for Leo. I hope you're all doing well. I keep hearing get some sun. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a question. Are you getting some sun? Or if that is a, a recommendation. <laughs> you guys are ruled by the sun. So snake. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> Was it like a, a TikTok audio or something that was like, I'm a snake. <laughs> I don't know, but that was the first thing that came to my mind. What in the world? Shed old skin. Yes. And what a great time to do that because it's spring, technically, right? Spring is all about, you know, like sprouting new, right? Like winter, everything kind of dies back, goes dormant, right? We have the five of pentacles. Um, and then it, when spring comes around, it's like, you know, ready for the new stuff. That has very like Kundalini vibes to it just obviously the placement i mean anytime i see a snake kind of place like that i'm gonna think kundalini five more the universe which is the world ace of swords love that coming after the world card was there something that flipped over New ideas, new inspiration. We have the Mother of Pentacles, the Son of Wands, or this is the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. 
Look at that. The Ace of Wands. And then the Two of Cups. Okay, it's a good thing I stop and look <laughs> to like make sure that everything is in frame because that was janky. So as like all of these cards were coming out, I was thinking in my head, like, I know Leo is not downplaying themselves. I know Leo <laughs> is not playing small or shrinking or something along those lines. But I know you're not doing that, right? If you are, this is saying stop that. <laughs> like, okay. Shed old skin, right? I mean, and even this Five of Pentacles feels like that these are maybe tomatoes which is interesting because well no those are apples they look like tomatoes but i think these are tomatoes that are clearly rotted right but like immediately when i saw it i got the feeling of old skin like shedding shedding what is is part of yourself that is no longer serving you and if anything it's continuously like putting you in this this sense of lack and that would be old stuff from you know childhood adolescence early 20s i mean depending on of course like how old you are i mean it could be stuff from yesterday it could be you know last week last month you know, but there's this like radical kind of like self-forgiveness thing and like recognizing that that's life. <laughs> so the five of pentacles, like I said, you know, it does have this lack thing, scarcity, feeling left out. You know, I mean, obviously these tomatoes were left on the vine too long and rotted, right? So, pentacles have to do, technically, they have to do with our money, how we get it, how we spend it, how we save it. It has to do with our time, how we spend and invest our time. It's even our physical body, like how we physically show up in the world. How are we physically taking care of our health? Right? It's like literally anything in the 3D. It could be our home. It could be even our relationships. Like how are we nurturing our relationships? Like how are we showing up in our relationships? Or even our relationship to our job, right? I mean, you get the message. I'm kind of like beating it in there. And this could just be that, you know, there has been experiences that you have had that have made you feel the five of pentacles, Again, you know, like lacking something, not getting enough of something. It could be the way that you are even perceiving yourself. And even, you know, like at the beginning when I was t when I was um, talking about the sun, right? Either getting sun or getting but whatever, whatever I said, because now, of course, like I can't remember. It was something to do with the sun. And, you know, like when you do like shine brightly, like the sun, right? Like you, you get attention and not all of that attention is good. Unfortunately, <clears throat> but this is like, if you absorb that too much of that, you know, kind of negative attention and you start kind of, um, believing it, <laughs> So it's interesting that it's paired with the mother of pentacles or the queen of pentacles, because I mean, look at the difference here. We go from, you know, overripe tomatoes to beautiful, luscious red apples, right? And maybe there's, there's something with fruit. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. Maybe I'm just throwing that out there. But um, 
the queen of pentacles is kind of like the mother hen of the tarot they're nurturing but not only to others right when we talk about queens queens are when we recognize the energy of the suit within ourselves and we empower ourselves with that energy and you know it's like we're able to give it to ourselves before we give it to other people which is when we move on to the kings so with the queen of pentacles this is like really getting back connected to your body right like getting back connected to what grounds you because we have this pentacle right at their root chakra which is also the color red so you know there's this message even too about getting grounded um you know even doing grounding exercises you know snakes are literally on the ground <laughs> most times um so there is this message about getting grounded you know like sitting like intentionally either sitting on the ground or sitting in a seat putting your feet on the ground or your butt on the ground and just imagine these roots coming out from your root chakra and going into the earth and just feel like how sturdy and stable that makes you feel to not be like so you know <clears throat> i don't want like chaotic was coming to my mind but like like instead of a tumbleweed right it's like you're you're a tree where even if there's wind, the wind isn't going to just like blow you around. You're still going to be firmly planted. Okay. So it's interesting that we go from the five of pentacles to the queen of pentacles. Because I mean, like literally in one row here, it's like, stop that, do that. <laughs> Somebody is like very bossy. And it could even just be, I mean, these are two Pentacles cards too. So it could even just be literally like a shift of energy. Like it doesn't even necessarily have to be like you are making this huge expression. I mean, you certainly can, but it's, you know, even just again, like I was saying, like physically showing up differently to where, you know, like just energetically there's there's something that is definitely coming off of you with this shed old skin. And also just even recognizing that um, you can reinvent yourself as often as you want. Like, this is, it's your life. <laughs> you know, every day can be different if you want it to be. Every minute can be different if you want it to be which I know is like easier said than done, but you know, I'm just gonna say it out loud. And then we have this world card. So it's interesting because it's like these two, these two, the world, and then like what comes after the world is like fire. <laughs> and air. And also, okay, so let's talk about <laughs> The world, the world is like literally it's it's the end of a journey. You know, whatever this situation is over here, and especially with this shed old skin thing, it's like there is something in your your existence that you know the the lessons that you needed from that thing, the 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 wisdom, the experience whatever it was like you you got what you needed to get out of it and there's this this invitation to end that cycle so that a new one can begin and again right i mean it's it could even just be like literally a decision it doesn't necessarily have to be you know like ending a relationship quitting a job it can be if that is what needs to happen or what you already know needs to happen but like i said right i mean it can it can literally just be like an energy change it could be a shift of perspective and then we have the knight of wands and it's interesting that it's like depicted by this volcano here <laughs> because the knight of wands they are a bit volcano ish like in the sense that 
there's this like burst of of energy, this burst of like motivation, but it could like fizzle out, you know, kind of quickly. It's not something that is prolonged. But the the thing about that though is that that is generally just like the the thing that's like that just whatever that is, it's like it does enough to like get you going. It's like like I'm getting this image in my head of horse racing and you know there's that gunshot or whatever that signifies the beginning of the race and as soon and that is like a split second right that sound but it it's enough to where everybody starts moving forward you know like that snap out of it thing and this is even with it being a volcano right i mean volcanoes like build up pressure and pressure and pressure right until basically they get to a point of exploding. I mean, I don't know the exact science behind volcanoes. <laughs> so that might not be 100% accurate, but there's like all of this like built up pressure. You know, and especially if you've been in the energy of the five of pentacles, and especially if that has been so uncomfortable for you, then it's like all this pressure is like building up, building up in you that is just kind of like ready to be released and then we have the ace of swords so it's funny because this is air you know uh ace of wands is fire as you know right i mean um wands are fire leo's a fire sign and you need air like you need oxygen in order to sustain a fire Right. So I love that these two things are coming out together, because like I said over here, like, you know, the sun of wands or the knight of wands isn't necessarily, you know, something that is prolonged. But this combination can be. So the ace of swords talks about new ideas, being inspired you know, it's also both of these cards are communication, but swords are more like logical, right? Because the, the, the Ace of Swords is also about divine truth, honesty. It's like factual, right? There's no real, like there's no like emotion attached to it. It's just logic. And like I said, it's, it's new ideas. It could even be a shift of perspective, with this shed old skin thing too. I love that it's like also a feather because I just, I get from that fanning a flame or like, you know, something along those lines because of course I was talking about it in relation to the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands is about passion and, and desire and with it being an Ace, there's something... There's something like sparking that flame within you. It's like having this new lease on life type of thing. Feeling, you know, like excited. Whatever this like new idea is, you know, or perspective, you know, new way of thinking, whether it's about yourself or about your future, about your relationships, whatever, your universe, you know. Whatever this is, it's like it, it gives you this this passion, this fire. And like I said, both of these are about communication. Like, how are you communicating your thoughts? You know, how, what? how are you um, communicating these new ideas? Are you even communicating these new ideas yet? You know, what um, what actions are you taking towards your passions and your desires? How are you communicating about your passions and desires, right? It's like, how are you talking about these things and with people around you? You know, is there like a sense of excitement? You know, is it like you're, you're unveiling a truth about yourself? And then we have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is the first water card that we've seen. And then the devil is behind there. Um, the Two of Cups is about shared values, you know, like with another person. Some people call this like the soulmate card. 
You could be meeting somebody. This could be a relationship that you already have. This could, of course, even be the relationship that you have with yourself. Cups having to do with our emotions, our relationship to love, you know, for ourselves and other people. And then with the devil behind there, it this could be saying that, and especially with it coming after the two of cups, the devil is about the things that control us. It could be a bit obsessive. Even just, um, what's the word? Like discombobulating. That's not necessarily the word I was trying to think of, but that's a word that came out. Because, you know, we have these horses here and like all these bright lights. And they're, you know, like they look spooked, right? Like they look, so it's like the, there's this um, mirage or like illusion that is created by the devil that kind of keeps us in this place of being spooked or in that like kind of same cycle of old shit, old patterning, pa patterning. And that could be with relationships. I mean, this could be about relationships. I don't I don't traditionally do relationship readings, but um if it comes out, of course, I will bring it up. <laughs> so it could, there could be one relationship in your life because there's only two jellyfish on this card. So it could be you and somebody else. Um, and, you know, that could be a friend. It could be your boss. It could be your business partner. It could be a family member. You know, it could be a friend, romantic partner. I don't know if I'm repeating myself now. So... It could even be the example that you had about relationships, you know, like if the um, authority figures or the adults in your life didn't have healthy um, communication and boundaries and all of those, you know, kind of things that come with healthy quote unquote relationships, then you know, you may not even, like that might be something that you are working on yourself so that you can have a healthy relationship. And then we have the Hierophant behind the devil. The devil is also Capricorn. The Hierophant is Taurus. And the Hierophant is usually like traditional institutions it can be um, traditional marriage it could be like having a traditional nine to five job but it also talks about passing on knowledge so again right i mean this could be something this whole effing thing could be something that you have really been working on deconditioning which is why this old sh shed old skin thing came out um because there's you know like you recognize that there are patterns of behavior that are in you that maybe you picked up from other people and you know now you are kind of doing your due diligence to research and release you know like find information out about whatever you know this devil card is there's a ton of information out there these days but in any case if this isn't necessarily like relationship related you know like i was saying this could even just be a relationship with yourself right and especially with the shuttled skin card that's coming out it's like um you know i mean this could even be therapy in some capacity you know i mean it could be yoga it could be um anything you know along those lines because it does talk about passing on knowledge and learning you know being a student but also being a teacher at some point we have the father of wands which is the king of pentacles or excuse me the king of wands i love this like this burst of lightning also a lot of red you know there's a lot of like root chakra stuff and and even where this lightning is hitting the water it's kind of like an interesting placement <laughs> but that's at the root center 
Also, like I was saying, even like this Kundalini thing, you might want to look into Kundalini if you haven't already, because like I was saying with the snake, um, but the Kundalini, like, you know, it rises like from the root center. And then we have the sun. There you are. There's Leo, right? Good stuff. And before we go, um, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. That helps me a lot and I appreciate it. Also, <laughs> if you haven't done so already, like the video or dislike it. Honestly, it's engagement and I will take either one. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment, even if it's, you know, an emoji or two. I love emojis. But my intention is to grow this channel and hitch a ride on the YouTube algorithm. And obviously, I cannot do that without you. So any help with that is appreciated. And on that note, I am going to let you go. <laughs> Thank you so much again for being here and letting me read your cards. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.